output characteristics of an NPN transistor in the common emitter configuration. So here our objective is to plot the collector voltage against the collector current for a given base current. So this is the kind of schematic we use. That means the transistor is connected from the programmable voltage source PV1 through a 1K resistor to the collector and the collector voltage is monitored. And PV2 is connected to the base through a 100 kilo ohm resistor and voltage at the base is again monitored by A2. So here suppose if I want to set some base current, you set a voltage here, measure this voltage. So from these two voltages and this resistance you can calculate the base current. So we need to make these connections first. So let us try to make those connections. Here we have the transistor. So this is the emitter base collector. So what we need to do is the emitter should be grounded. So let us say the emitter is grounded and the collector goes to PV1 through a 1K resistor and the base goes to PV2 through a 100K resistor and then the collector goes to A1 for reading the voltage and the base goes to A2 again for reading that voltage. So this is our connection. So once this is done, we will go to this graphical user interface and set a base curve, base voltage set as a set to 1 volt and start plotting the collector voltage versus collector current at this particular base voltage. So click on the start. So end of this it will say what is the base current. Now we can increase the base current, say suppose we make it 1.5 volt, 50 percent increase, so let's start again and now it's roughly 4 microampere, it is 8 microampere, so we can again increase the base current and draw another set of characteristic curves. So now this data can be saved some file say npn dot txt and that's done. So we have plotted the output characteristic in the common emitter configuration for three different base currents.